All right, boys, we've been doing a lot of zinc around here and it's about time we start using that zinc. So today's video, we have this engine right here. As you can see, she's a little dirty. She's a little disassembled, but today we're gonna be getting this thing all back together and I want to get this thing fully dressed up and see how it looks with all of the zinc on it. You can see that Chuck actually was here last night and he ended up painting the block. I just got new paint, painter's tape, all this stuff, and I guess Chuck took it upon himself to um, paint the block, so let's give a round of applause for Chuck. Go ahead, yeah, clap up your stomach, that's great. So um, yeah, that saves us a lot of time actually. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this head off because we're gonna replace 99% of these gaskets. All right, so we got our torque sequence right here. Instead of actually um, putting it on, we're taking it off. So I'm gonna start with 10 instead of one because you just wanna do it backwards because you're taking it off. But fun fact, I wasn't even gonna do the head gasket in this because I figured, oh, this is, this is really on there. Okay, we're not turboing this car or anything. We're just putting it back together. We're cleaning it up and we're reviving the M edition. But my buddy Matt, you know, car heart, blue collar guy. Yeah, not this Matt. Yeah, he was like, dude, oh, oh my God. You would think I don't go to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, dude, you got it all apart. You're not going to take the head off. I'm like, well, why would I? Like, it's not bones, whatever. He's like, dude, you got to do it. And he got in my head. So my buddy's over at Treasure Coast. I asked him, I was like, yo, you got a head gasket in stock? And they're like, yes, but we don't have head bolts. I'm like, dang it. I was like, ah, sorry, Matt. I can't do it. I don't got head bolts until I found some ARP head studs. Now, I only wasn't going to do it because last time I built a Miata, these were on back order for like a month. I don't know if that's the case now, but I didn't want to take my chances. And to be honest, I didn't want to spend 150 bucks. So um, I found these laying around in a bin when I went to go clean all this stuff. I'm like, oh, okay, well, guess we're doing a head gasket. So with all that being said, let's get the head off. So we detorqued all of the head bolts. So now we're just going to go ahead. We're going to loosen up them up all the way. I'm so happy that Chuck did that because my worry was I wasn't going to be able to get this done today because obviously it's like 20 degrees in here. This is going to take a while to dry, but since he did it last night, it is dry. I was going to like try to come up with a redneckism there. Couldn't think of one. Mm. Devin. Oh, uh, he's calling for the for rap, dude. Yo. for tomorrow. Bro, I'm getting the reach around. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, he he Nah, he told me this morning that he might not be there for tomorrow. Thank God I didn't make that bet with you. Yeah. That would have sucked. I'm talking to Matt. He How said... not going to be there? Tell him to just give you the fucking address. Well, I have the address because I found him on Google Maps. But, I mean, if it's in the shop, it's in the shop, you know? Tell him to push the fucking car outside. I, well, I told him, I was like, yo, like, not for nothing, but I kind of put this in our schedule. I got my buddy bringing me, like, we're supposed to pick up a jet ski and stuff, and I haven't received an answer yet, and it's been... Three hours. Give me his fucking phone number. I'll call him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll give you his phone number. I don't care. I'll just be like, I'm your manager. What the fuck? No, I don't. Don't say you're my fucking manager. Just be like, yo, I'm supposed to bring Chris to pick up his car tomorrow. What's up? Okay. All right. I'll give you his number right now. Give me a minute. It's fucking getting outrageous. Yeah, I know. Just give me a minute. I agree. You don't want to be a dick or no? Uh, do you, you, you do you, man. All right. All right, so yeah. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew I'm it. so happy I didn't make that bet, dude. What was it for? A hundred bucks? No, it was for thirty. Come 30, on, you didn't. Um, you ain't betting no hundred bucks. Let's be honest. Thirty, here. dude. You would have fucking maybe lost. <sighs> You'd have lost. I don't know. Maybe Devin can turn this around. I just want my car back, dude. I don't know. Is it done? <laughs> no. You don't, <laughs> you don't think the car is done? No. I'm sorry, bro. If you're watching this, I don't believe in you at all. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up, dude. Dude, it's been a year. I know. And he's asking for an extra day. And here I am, like, it's been a year. And here I am, like, as we're talking, I feel bad for talking about the situation. Yeah. Even though it's, like, in hindsight, like, come on, bro. It's been a year. You told me a week and a half. Yeah. You know, so. I understand there was, like, a deal and whatnot, but your end of the deal didn't get held up. So well... Like we can't even hold up the end of our deal because so i sent the car there to get wrapped for free and the idea was like well co cost oh, at, count, at cost you all well, i paid for the wrap and stuff yeah, so like the is, labor was going to be free and the deal was like he was going to do it in a timely manner because my jzx was getting wrapped and that was taking like six or seven months so i told this guy because i was only working with the dude that uh, was wrapping the jzx and i was pretty fed up with that i'm like yo my JZX is getting wrapped. If you want to take the light of the show, get this done really quick. I'll buy the wrap right now and we can make things happen and we can um, get some customers in your door. He's like, yeah, dude, I love the idea. Like, that's going to be great. We're going to slay the mission. I'm like, yeah. sick. 
And then, uh, yeah, here we are a year later. I can't now. I'm like, yo, dude, rap came out sick. If you want your car done in a year, check them out. Yeah. You know, you can't do that. No one cares. <laughs> so now instead we just explain the situation and it is what it is. I mean, yes. I can't do anything. It is what it is. I the power you. is out of my hands. No. You know, no. I came up with a good plan. I thought it was a good marketing strategy, but no one gives a fuck. So fuck it. You did have a Rodnickism there. Which one? Light of the show. Spotlight. Wait, what did I say? You said the light of the show. Did it's I? The spotlight, yeah. The light of the show? I don't the think light. I said that. You said light of... I'll play it back. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say the light of the show. Yeah, that doesn't right. make any sense. I'm cutting this and playing it back. <laughs> then we're going to get your reaction. It's funny because I was trying to think of a... Right, I can't think of them. They just Wait, come, you know? You said light of the show. It's like one of those things that you can't try at. You just got to kind of do. Yeah. Because you're fucking dumb. You getting those washers out there too? I'm going to get them after. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. We're taking the this whole head off. thing fucking stinks, bro. <laughs> Smells better than you. Nah, I'm just kidding, dude. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave, man. <laughs> Don't take so much in I'll get out of here. <laughs> fucking this morning, brush your teeth. <laughs> no, you didn't. I can smell your morning breath, dude. Yeah, I mean, and I'm a nice guy. I keep Listerine for you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. <it's> <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck you. If you're going to put my Rudnickism in, you're going to put that uh, in. The clip doesn't make sense without the Rudnickism. Well, you, know. you keep going. If you're going to fuck me, I'm going to fuck I'll you. I'll dub it. I'll say no, spotlight we're gonna, really loud. <laughs> we're fucking each other, okay? Uh, oh. We're doing the fucking. Wow. Not fucking like that. Shit, baby. Stop. You're weird. Yo. See, this is when you just right. turn things weird. Yeah, dude. The head coming off. Ooh, that was ASMR. I liked that, actually. That was negative ASMR. That was sick. Thank God for my nice black junk hoodie. All right. She's not too bad, eh? A little oily, a little stinky. dirty, a little stinky. Oh, that's the head gasket. How does it look underneath? Yeah, buddy. Let's get the vacuum cleaner out and let's get the scrubber and let's make this thing brand new. All right, Devin's calling me back. Drama alert. Yeah. No answer. Dang. Well, I'll just give him a call back in a few, I guess. You call him or you want me to call him? Nah, you call him. I'm busy. <laughs> I don't want to talk to him, to be honest. I'm over it. Well, that's it. Your boy did it once again, you know? You just see our ARP get all excited. And you go to thread it in, you're like, wait a minute, this is this is not threaded in the way. And like, what these are these are small. Look at these. I immediately open the box. I'm like, whoa, these are small. These don't look right. And then I'm like comparing and stuff. I'm like, oh boy. Like, oh, let's, let's try to thread it in, you know? So, it's, it starts going in. Oh, oh, it's tight. What's going on here? It's a little tighter than I wanted it, you know? A little shorter. So yeah, these are main studs. So uh, Matt, I want to give a big shout out to you for motivating me to take the head off. Getting all excited about these and I'm kind of an idiot because it says main studs right there. But little old me got a little too excited and they just ARP pulls and studs. Mazda Miata, this is it. We got them. We got the head studs. Octavio, treasure coast, like give me a head gasket. I'm going to do this. And yeah, so long story short. We're not using those. We're gonna reuse these. I know there's gonna be some people on the internet saying, hey, you're an idiot. There's no boost going to this or anything. It's not that big of a deal. It's gonna have a new head gas and stuff. These are gonna clamp just fine. We can probably go five foot pounds over and it'll be all good. So we're gonna clean these up. We're gonna put the head back on. But before we do any of that, I want to scrape the bottom of the head and then I want to just clean this because obviously we have a nice clean block. We want a nice clean head. So when we put all our zinc parts on, she looks pretty. Not stoked about this, but it is what it is. It's not that big of a deal. Right, Matt? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. All right, so now that the head is all cleaned, we have to actually clean the head because you can see it's just gross and dirty and we might as well clean everything. Um, good thing about ARP head studs though is if I wanted to change them later, it's as easy as pulling off the valve cover and um, just switching them one by one. I've done it with Roberto. I mean, so many people have done it. It's fine as long as you do one at a time and you do it properly, it's all good. So honestly, reusing the head get I'm, I'm just making excuses so you guys don't yell at me in the comments, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, the fucky oopsie whoopsie. <laughs> Dang, look at the grime. 
is beautiful. I wish I had a smaller wire brush. Dude, this is actually working really good though. I'm stoked. You, is this an update? Yeah, he just texted me back. What'd he say? I said, I said hi, I'm a good friend of Chris's. I took tomorrow off to make the trip down with him to pick up the car. If you can give me a call back or shoot me a message of what time would be, we'd be able to come, that would be fantastic. And that was at 3.30, he just answered me now. And said? He goes, hey, what's going on? It's looking like later in the day, like late afternoon. I'm not 100% on the exact time just yet. I'll be in contact with you ASAP so you can plan it out. Holy crap, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you messaged me. I just noticed the time. Okay, cool. Well, at least that's not a no. Sure thing that bad. I go later in the day because that means we're going to hit fucking rush hour crap. Well, I know it sucks, but I mean, it kinda, at this point, it kind of is what it is, you know? Okay, right, so the block is clean. Painted, the top of the bottom end is all clean, the bottom of the head is clean, the head is clean, everything is clean. So now, we got this nice package from Treasure Coast Miata, and I just wanna give Treasure Coast a big shout out because like, we've worked together for years, and like, there was a couple years that I didn't really do much with them, and as soon as I got this M edition, they were the first people to be like, you know what Chris, Like, let, let us send you out this stuff, Like, what exactly do you need, let us help you out. So if you guys need anything for your Miata, and I literally mean anything, they have all new OEM parts, I got a bunch of used stuff, like they're constantly on auctions getting new Miatas and stuff. So if you guys need anything, they have it all. Like all of this stuff that you see right here, this was all in stock. We got the water pump right here, gates, only the best. Um, we got the head gasket, we got the intake manifold, we got literally everything that we need, which is perfect. Genuine Mazda, made in Japan, everything's nice. Like look at, they got brand new OEM shift boots, brand new OEM dipsticks, like they literally have everything to make your car brand new. I don't even know what this is, but they have it, and we're gonna figure out what it is. It's a gasket. I think it's one of those gaskets that <laughs> sit on top of like the... Fuel tank? Yeah, on top of the fuel tank, things like that. But they literally just gave me everything. Like this is your shifter rebuild, like they have all of it. Gates timing belt, all of that good stuff, and yeah. So check out Treasure Coast Miata in the description below. They have been a huge help to the channel, and I have nothing but good words to say about them. With all that being said, let's get the head gasket out, and let's get that copper spray head gasket stuff. Yeah, you have the nozzle this time? Yeah, I got the nozzle. So I gotta good. play the clip. Go ahead, play the clip. I love that clip. Dude, this isn't gonna fucking work. Here we go. Oh, oh my God, that thing's coming up. Holy fuck, dude. All right, flip it. Oh. oh, I'm slipping. Don't drop it. Dude, this thing's already half gone. Just go quick. Oh my god. I don't know if you're supposed to use that much, to be honest. Dude, it's just dripping off. It's good. Oh, okay, we got all dude. the drips. We got what a shit sand show. It. But I must say, you just watched that clip. Yes, we absolutely used way too much on the ricer, but let me tell you, that thing still runs. 20 pounds of boost, she doesn't care, no problem. Copper spray, love that stuff, not sponsored. Follow me out to the Arctic. Uh. Some ghetto things just never change. Let's let it sit for a sec. Dang, she's pretty. I do love copper. copper it looks so good. Copper is such a nice color. Nice, even coat. Only at your finest. Ah. Go lay, lay down. You're in. All right, well, we got the head on. Um, usually they have two dowels. This one only had one, so it was a little tricky. So I had Matt put the camera down so he can actually guide me so we didn't mess up the head gasket or anything. But everything is good now, so we're going to put these in, and then we're going to torque it to spec. Maybe, you know, three or four foot pounds tighter, and we'll see how it goes. All right, we're just going to start with 30 just to get everything going smooth, you know? All right, last two can right now. 30, 45, 62. All right guys, so the head is officially torqued. We did two more foot pounds just in case, you know, just to be safe. But we got the block painted, we got the head on, we got everything cleaned. Now it's time to go get the stuff from Powder Coat. So let's get it. All 
All right, boys, we just got back from the powder cutter. You can see we got the intake manifold, we got the valve cover, we got various other parts. We decided to just go with black, black and gold just kind of makes sense and it just keeps everything simple. You don't have to try to match anything. Everything is just black and it's simple. So with all that being said, we have the gaskets from Treasure Coast all spread out and we're gonna start with the cam seals actually right here. And then we're gonna start with this whole front side of the engine. We're gonna time it, we're gonna do all of that and then we can put the good goodies on and make this thing look good. All right guys, so the cam seals are now done. Now this is the first powder coat and zinc pieces we're actually using. I know, big moment, big moment in today's video, at least to me, if we're listening to Gwen Stefani. Yeah. If I can escape the cold shop to when, if we went to Dan's shop, dude, he's oh, got nice. the crank, he in him like, dude, you gotta be spending a forge. He's like, nah, landlord pays it. I'm like, you motherfucker, you see this? make fucking O's in here. Yeah. You know, I'm starting to think you do it on purpose. Do what? The crank heating. What do you mean? The crank heating. What do you mean the crank heating? You said the crank heating so the heat crank. Keep the heat, keep the heat cranking. Yeah, you said the crank heating. I love it. <laughs> crank the heat, keep the heat cranking. It's the same thing. Do we have a counter on screen? What, for running <laughs> Yeah, this video. I don't even know what to notice. I just say things. I know, I love it. I don't like correcting you because it's just, it's so good. In Thanks. Life. You knew what I meant though. Yeah, you know? I know exactly what you meant. It gets through. You're communicating. The good old fucking Mako ratchet messing up. You're communicating. Just backwards. You know, sometimes. You're an alien. Spanish is my first. Language? Mm. Hola. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we just started assembling the front end. and Come on, Matt. What do you think? Looking good. It's looking pretty freaking good already. And I went as far as we did the front main. Um, it'd be stupid if I didn't. And we even took all of these bolts out and replaced them with zinc hardware. I mean, I've taken apart so many Miatas and just put a bunch of random hardware from all of the various engines and cars. So I literally have like 10 of each bolt, which is so cool. But now that's all done. I'm gonna start timing this thing. We have to get this back cover on. We have to get the cam gears on. And once this thing is timed, we can actually start playing with the sides and doing all of that. This is exciting. This is something I've wanted to do for a while. And it's not like 100% to me, like if this was like the rice and we were finalizing the whole thing, I would have got this like hot rinsed. I would have decked the head. We would have said, oh, screw this. We're gonna wait on the ARP head studs. Um, I would have spent more time painting this block, I mean Chuck did it and stuff, but it came out good, but if this was like the 100, 100%, I would have went above and beyond. We would have got a boundary oil pump and stuff, but really I wanna clean this thing up and this is the first time I've actually done this, so I think this is a great starting point and I feel comfortable with these engines in particular, so like once we do it on this and I'm like, okay, let's do it to an SR, let's see which ones we can do. So it's definitely an exciting stepping stone for me and hopefully you guys think this is cool as well. I'm gonna keep working. You know, it's kind of sad. Well, All of this work, and you're never going to see any of this. It is pretty, though. Uh, dang. It looks good. I mean, I wish we got a boundary pump or something. Yeah, it is a little sludgy, but that's the only sludge in the whole engine. You'll never even be able to touch any of that because of the covers and stuff. Well, I guess right here, but no one's going to touch it. The alternator sits right there. It's good. We did a last minute paint the cam gears real fast. You can see it didn't come out perfect. I got two in zinc right now, but you know, they're not back yet. So we're just making do with what we got. I think it's coming out really good. The timing's all done. So now it's time to put the timing covers on and we can start finishing up the front end. And then we can start getting into the powder coat stuff. I feel like once we get the brackets on, the engine mounts, it's all gonna start coming together. Just trust me. All right, so she didn't come out too bad, huh? Came out fantastic. <laughs> you know, this thing's sick. Fuck, dude. I'm actually in love with it, and it sucks, because you were just saying, and I was thinking this as I was putting this together, I'm like, this thing looks so cool. If like, it had one of those nice Garrett turbos <laughs> with the brass inner bit. Yeah, no, like, if we if we actually put, like, a lot of money into this build, <laughs> 
and like got a nice turbo manifold, got a nice Garrett turbo. Like, like this thing would be sick. You throw an Artec on there real quick. Yeah, dude, this thing would freaking glow. But this is where we got tonight. We have an alternator. It's too dirty to put on the engine. I don't like. We cleaned it and everything, but I think I'm just gonna bite the bullet and buy a new one because I just want this thing to look fresh and. To be honest, I've wanted to do this for a while and I started taking apart blown engines. Like every time I had like a blown engine or something, I would just take it for hardware, take it for hardware. So one day I knew I was gonna do something like this, but then this M edition came across and it was, I got it for free because I won the game of bikes. I'm like, okay, this is a perfect platform. It's an M edition, it's rust free and everything. So I don't have to worry about any of that. And I can actually do this to a car that's worth it. So definitely stoked. There's so a couple things we still need to do. Like this fuel rail is wrong. I kind of just put it in for glamour. Yeah, for the B-roll. But this is a 1.6 fuel rail. If you come over here, I have all of this stuff ready to send out to Zinc. I'm kind of doing like an experiment. I want to see what they can and can't do. So we have stupid stuff. Like we have drive shafts, sway bars, the center beam. We got this 1.8 fuel rail. This is the one that we need. We got the little cop. We have literally everything. Slave cylinders, clutch masters, you name it, we're zinking it. We're gonna try it and we're gonna find out for everyone. Don't know how much this is actually gonna cost. It's probably gonna be about $1,000, but we'll worry about it then. I just wanna say, I think it's very important to note is not only does that engine look fantastic, the subframe, everything else is gonna look just as fantastic. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm trying to do this thing like 100% and like I wanted to start with a Miata because like I said before, like I know these the best but like I want to get to a point where we can start doing it to the 180 like the biggest thing that sucks about YouTube is like we try to do things fast just because we we have to make videos every other day but like I would love to do everything like this but this took weeks of planning you have to find the reliable people to do it but now that we have the reliable zinc people we got a reliable powder coater we have a reliable everyone and everyone kind of seems to do things within a week to a week and a half so we can start doing things more proper this way and we can start building cooler cars i've acquired a lot of junk and it's important to still finish a lot of the projects that we started and it's important to get rid of a lot of stuff as well so with all that being said guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i'm really stoked on how this came out and uh yeah i don't think this is the last time we're gonna be doing this remember you were making fun of me for this i, I was just like dude that's just so you dumb. made no one's gonna notice you that. made and fun of like, me for that and this is one of my favorite bits on this this shot right here is one of my favorite it's the little stuff and it looks yeah. sick so if you guys I, like it I Go personally ahead. can't wait till you hit your magnum opus, which is, if you can do this... Magnum opus? Magnum opus. It's your... Cool. Fucking je ne sais quoi, you know, your fucking... <laughs> okay. Your, right. your top of the top of the top, and that's going to be the blueberry. That's going to be the blueberry, and I'm, I got my eye on the... This is my eye on the prize right now. I know that's... <laughs> <laughs> Poor car. I know this has been in the works for a long time, but... I'm really excited about the 180, and I'd rather work on something that I'm super excited about than something like, um, don't get me wrong, I'm excited about that, but this I'm stoked about. So here's the way I see his, you're testing things out, you got the subframe figured out, you got yeah. the engine, you're trying with the engine, you're gonna do it to the, that SR. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you're going to combine that and that knowledge into that. Exactly. And see, that thing's going to come out fucking... Ooh. Back in the back burner. That's what you just back, said. <laughs> back in the back burner, but I think it's worth it if everything looks like this. Realistically, I'd be able to get things done a lot faster if I wasn't always stressing about money. Yeah. I wouldn't be stressed about money if I was better with it and didn't buy things like that on a whim. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes... Yeah. I just had a hundred grand, dude. Give me a hundred grand. We could do really cool stuff. I know it. Yeah. Give me a hundred grand. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And um, we'll see you guys in the next one. Put down some bets. Are we getting the S13 next video? Ma me and Matt got a couple side bets going on. We'll see who wins those. Yeah. Um, should we tell them the side bets? No, no, no we no, can't. No, okay, okay. Have your own side bets in the comments. I don't know what the fuck's going to happen tomorrow, but... I just want the car back. So with that being said, next video, hopefully S13. Video after that, we're going to be working on that again. All the stuff is coming. So that should be here tomorrow while I'm in Long Island. And we can start getting back into that thing, which I'm super excited about. And we still need to work on the 370Z because I want to take Natalie drifting. And I want to get that bumper on. I want to fix the exhaust. And I want to make sure that thing is good because if I can sell that thing, we can really throw money into that, throw money into this, throw money into other things. And yeah, with that, all that being said, for the third time,
goodbye.